Hey guys, and welcome to Lex's World. A ballast is an important component of your medical growth system if you're using HID bulbs. As of the date of this video, there's still more growers using HID than anything else. Now there's two kinds of ballasts, digital and magnetic. Magnetic ballasts are still available on the market, but are being phased out because they're simply old technology. Today, I'm going to show you guys a digital ballast and why it's the way to go over a magnetic one. We'll also go over some important features you should look for in ballasts. So, this is a Lumitech 600 watt digital ballast. So let's talk about its advantages a little bit. First off, it is very quiet. It is much quieter than a magnetic ballast. Magnetic ballasts use coils inside, and these uh, digital ballasts use electronic and electronic chips, as an, and as a result, they are almost silent. Secondly, it's much cooler than a magnetic ballast. Ballasts do get hot as they run, and the nice thing about these digital ones is they stay relatively cold. Now, you might not think that's a big deal, but really warm items in your grow room can be a safety hazard, and safety comes first. Next thing is, these things are pretty low weight. You can pretty much hang them off anything. You can transport them easily. The old magnetic ballasts are in enormously heavy. They weigh over 20 pounds. And now there's one argument that old school growers use against digital ballasts, and that is that they wreck light bulbs because they start them up too fast. Well, that's actually an outdated argument. The new generation ballasts, like this one, have what's called soft start technology. And as a result, they actually turn HID bulbs on slowly, thus helping them last longer. And uh, finally, the thing about digital ballasts is that they're very efficient. Um, not in terms of electrical savings, because 600 watts is still 600 watts, but it actually pumps out more lumens per watt and lumens is what's important. So it's basically kind of like having a 660 watt ballast if you have a 600 watt digital one as opposed to a magnetic one. But digital ballasts do still come with a couple of disadvantages. Number one, they're more expensive. And number two, they are easier to damage. The old magnetic ballasts were virtually bulletproof. Several brands of digital ballasts exist out there. Like I said, this is a Lumitech, and this is one particularly good, reliable, but expensive brand. Uh, it's also a well-made brand. There's a lot of ballasts on the market that pretend to be Lumitechs, but are actually knockoffs. So if you choose to buy one like this, just be sure that uh, it legitimately says Lumitech somewhere on it and that it has an adjustable control knob. A lot of the knockoffs don't have either one of those items, so you know it's a knockoff. Well guys, that's our show on digital ballasts. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button up top and the like button below. We'll catch you next time on Lex's World.